not time for a shave. Beard trim. Anyway, hey guys, it's Artisan Tony. Well, as you know, we artisans have a tool for everything. And a lot of times uh, I find myself measuring interior rooms and exteriors of buildings uh, without any help. So for a long time I've had measuring devices that help me accomplish that. And one of my oldest ones is this uh, Sonnen 45. It's a sonic or a sound frequency type uh, measuring device. And I got it out yesterday to, to use it on a project, even change the battery, and it's not working. So it's a little over 10 years old. As you can see, it's uh, pretty basic looking. Too bad, I had to get a new tool. <laughs> As you may know, if people who are familiar with tools are know that Bosch uh, makes very good tools. And this is an upgrade for me on these measuring types of measuring devices. Um, this, this one obviously was worked with sound waves and it only had a distance of 45 feet. So if I was in a large, uh, say, gymnasium or a auditorium, you know, it was really no, not much use to me. I would have to pull out the, you know, 200 foot tape or whatever, and it would take two people to measure that large of an area. Well, this one is done by laser, and it will go up to 230 feet. So let me get this thing out of the box, and maybe I'll try to demonstrate it. And the very nice thing about this one is that it comes with a handy dandy carrying pouch <laughs> with the belt loop and the Bosch logo, which is cool. And batteries, all right, takes four AAA batteries. Okay must have them in properly okay this thing has a lot of features okay so I just want to go over some basic ones and you can look this thing up online if you're interested further but just some basic things here I've set up a little quick target there sorry about my messy desk if you want to measure you just turn the laser on and you can see it's pointing there then you push the button again and it will give you the dimension 1 foot 2 and 13 16 so I like that accuracy. Another feature is this little indicator here. I'm going to push this button here and it's going to change uh, where the calculation is made from. Right now the calculation is being made from the back. So if I'm holding against a wall it's going to tell me what it is between uh, the two walls. So if I was if I had it mounted on a, on a tripod uh, for you know for standing in the middle of a room taking dimensions and there's the mount then I would want it to measure from this point here so I would just push this button till I got to the middle see there if I just simply want to take a measurement from the front of the device I keep going till it's at the front for my purposes I'm going to I'll be putting it against a wall measuring a room so I want to leave it on this mode here. Another nifty thing is that it has these sights. It has the a rear sight and, a, and the sort of reverse of a pistol where you have these two notches, a notch up front and the single post in the back and you, and you can line those up. I don't know if you can see that or not. To get it straight, you know, uh, at your target. And it has this nifty little level here. So those are just some basic features. This thing has a lot of features. Uh, you can take all kinds of calculations, running dimensions, and um, I haven't read the entire manual yet. What I'm going to do is take it out to the job now and uh, test it out. Okay, so here's the project. 
I know it's kind of pathetic looking. <laughs> We're going to turn this duplex into a nice new home for someone. So I'm thinking some sort of entry over this door and also more of a pronounced uh, entry here, uh, gable there. So that should dress it up. Also, get rid of some of this uh, parking, have a real yard, probably take out some of this deck to try to give it more green space around it. Okay, so you can see this project, uh, <laughs> it's a duplex and the investor bought it to turn it into a single family home. So what we have to do here is redesign the floor plan. And usually these old houses will have these uh, old crappy aluminum sliding windows. All these windows will need to be changed out. Usually the floors will have to be redone. You can see here they've got a wall unit and baseboard heat. So you're looking at new HVAC. So let me show you what I'm gonna do here. There's the laser and uh, we push this button once and then we push it again. And now we have 12 foot one and three eighths. So to just set up my, my uh, drawing to get a good sense of the scale here, I'm gonna shoot this dimension. It's 15 foot six, but well, I guess that's right. Let me try it over here. 15 foot seven. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, two, four, six, eight, twelve. I'll just come over here and fifteen foot seven. That way, a twelve foot one and a quarter the other. Okay, so I'll just go throughout the structure and I'll show you what I come up with later. Okay, this may look a little rough, drawn by hand, but uh, when I take these dimensions, put them in the computer, into SketchUp, it will make sense. So what I'll, what I'll do right now is just kind of scan. This is living room, kitchen. That's a hall closet. Bathroom, nasty, <laughs> hole in the wall, bedroom, windows. I do this also to show the relative position of the windows in the bedrooms. You can see that one's centered pretty much. And then this, this one's more offset to the left. So uh, I don't get that detailed with the dimensions, but because uh, this is all gonna be changed out, so. Anyway, that's how that's done. The other part, the other part of the duplex, I'll add on and show you in just a second. So this one is just a mirror image of that one. So this should be easy. All I have to do is flip this entire drawing in this direction. We've got living room, kitchen, and then the bedrooms back here. So that should be easy to get in the computer. I'll just take some exterior dimensions to confirm that. Okay, so here you can see that I have uh, put my dimensions into SketchUp, and I'll just give you a quick demonstration of how I did that. I meant to record some of it, but I forgot to. But I just, I'll just start out here with a, a region. Let's just say that's my floor uh, plan, the dimensions. And uh, I'll come in here and I'll offset my outside walls. And then I'll go in and put, uh, you know, other walls in. Like, like so. And then I'll just go in and clip out those portions uh, to make the walls continuous. And then there's a tool here in SketchUp where you can just pull that up. 
like that. And that's basically all I did. So now what I'm doing is just going in and trying to put in the windows and doors. And what that will look like on a plan view is just a, a view where I'm looking at it from above, but I'll change the camera angle to parallel projection, and then that's, that, that'll be what you see. Of course, if I wanted to put a cut plane in there to show the, the windows and doors, I'd turn it back into a perspective, and I would put a um, section on there, a section cut and bring that up to just below there we go the uh, tops of the door about five feet off the floor is where you do that so then we turn off uh, the section plane then we get our view back and that's right where I have put windows and doors you can see now they're showing up now if you're wondering, this is just half of the duplex. Whenever I get all the windows and doors in, what I will do is I'll copy this like so. And uh, SketchUp has this neat function where you can just create a mirror image by grabbing it and basically creating that mirror image like that. Uh, with the mirror tool and then I can create a group out of that and now I can simply just place it over here and there's an inch gap between them so now I can go back to that view and then set this up so in my drawing it's just a plan view like that so this one has the floor in it this one does it that's why it looks like like that so of course this part of the duplex let me change that perspective this part of the duplex was set up uh, two feet higher like that so now what I'll do is I'll put the roofs on them and start to put the windows and doors and the decks and all that. It'll take you know four or five more hours to get the existing uh, drawing completed and then after that I can start doing design work adding the, the little gables over the entrances and that sort of thing. But I have to establish my as-built drawings first. Okay guys that was just a quick look uh, add an example of what you can do with this tool. There are many uses for it and I'm sure those who are interested will uh, take another look online and read the data on it. And I guess I'm saying goodbye to my old Salmon 45 <laughs> and um, I'll keep it in a drawer somewhere and 10 years from now I'll come back and wonder what the heck is that. I hope you guys will check out my um, artist and construction channel I do a lot more videos, obviously, like this uh, on my artist and construction channel. And since I did the uh, P64 giveaway, I've gotten a few more subscribers who may not know about my artist and construction channel. So I'll put a link to it. And uh, if you're interested in these kinds of videos or construction videos, I do vlogs on our projects, and it's pretty cool. So anyway, I appreciate it, guys. Mm -hmm.